Hi Pisces, this reading is for you if you just recently broke up or had a fallout with your significant other. We'll have three separate spreads in this reading. In the first spread, uh, we'll be looking at the situation as to what happened, who left whom and why. In the second spread, we'll be looking at the advice for that situation. And in spread number three, we'll see new love coming towards you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. Here's the situation, uh, Pisces. We have uh, the Five of Cups, clarified by the Two of Swords. We have the Five of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, clarified by the Lovers. And we also have the Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could have been dealing with a uh, fellow water sign, against the Scorpio and out of Pisces. We also have Gemini on the table. But you could have been dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. You know what, Pisces? It doesn't really feel like a devastation, to be honest with you. It just feels like something didn't get off the ground. Something didn't get, you guys didn't get on the same page. There was some kind of a miscommunication, misunderstanding. Something among those lines. Because you should see spreads for other zodiac signs for the, uh, for the Broken Hearted series. Trust me, this is nothing compared to what other zodiac signs have. Um, it doesn't mean you're not broken hearted. It doesn't mean you're not feeling left out in the cold, but it's, it's not as bad. I think you guys can fix it. <laughs> I really do. So we do have um, a couple of fives, right, in the beginning. The Five of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, all minor arcana cards, right? And uh, the Five of Cups has always to do with the past. It's a card of grieving the past or regretting the past. The Two of Swords clarifying the Five of Cups is a card of a crossroads, but at the same time it's a card of somebody who says no or somebody who's not opening up. So perhaps somebody made the wrong turn. Perhaps somebody had a chance and they missed on that chance. They missed on that opportunity. Or something among those lines, right? The Five of Pentacles is a card of feeling sad, lonely, left out in the cold. We also have the Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of somebody who's stuck and trapped or somebody who is overthinking. Or perhaps, perhaps somebody was overthinking at the time. So yeah, it just, it just feels... Not as devastating, but as uh, somebody said that it just didn't go anywhere. Alright, so speaking of going, here comes the Knight of Cups clarified by the Lovers. So here it comes, it's like a second chance <laughs> for the two of you to get on the same page, for the two of you to give it a shot. Right, the Knight of Cups, it could be you by the way, Pisces, right? The Knight of Cups is a water sign indicator, you're a water sign. But uh, I guess for most of you, this is them. Uh, coming towards you, uh, uh, hoping for it to actually, um, you know, go, so go somewhere, right? The Knight of Cups is the most romantic knight out of all four knights. This is the knight that often referred to as the knight in the shining armor, Prince Charming, right? The Knight of Cups always talks about genuine love. Um, the Lovers classifying knight could be a Gemini you're dealing with, but the Lovers is also part of a choice. So now you will have another choice. The Two of Swords all the way to your left is, a, like I said, it's a card of a crossroads, so perhaps there was a wrong choice made. So here comes the second t attempt, second, uh, second time for you to make a choice. <laughs> or for, the, for both of you to make the correct choice in this case. Also, the Lovers, in my opinion, is uh, the best card when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. You know, it's a card of a soulmate connection, it's a card of a twin flame connection, if you believe in twin flames. And uh, the lovers could be the lover of your life. Okay, so yeah, this is one interesting reading, uh, Pisces. Let's take a look at the advice spread real quick. Here's the advice for you, Pisces, for the situation we saw in the first spread. We have the King of Swords, the Two of Cups, um, the Fool, and uh, the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. We also have Aries on the table. The advice, Pisces, for you is to give it another shot. I don't know who is going to reach out to whom, but uh, the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Uh, it could be a card of an apology. Again, perhaps the two of you got off on the wrong foot, or somebody's going to reach out and ask for a second chance, ask uh, you out, approach you, send you flowers, or something like that. It could be you, Pisces. Right? It could be you starting a conversation. And uh, one of the reasons why I do advice spreads is uh, when in the advice spreads, court cards often show up. Court cards meaning kings and queens. And we do have this king of swords here. So the king of swords could be an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius you're dealing with. 
um, if or somebody with a lot of air in their chart if they're not an air sign perhaps this is somebody who could be you know cold as ice <laughs> so if you are cross watching for Pisces and if you are cold as ice perhaps you can you know tune it down <laughs> warm up a little bit right um, the king of swords could also be somebody who wears a uh, uniform uh, could be somebody who is uh, like very educated somebody who is a lawyer or something like that could be a surgeon a doctor you, you get the idea right um, then we have the two of cups another soulmate card the lovers in the first spread, like I said, is a soulmate card, and so is the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups, there's two people in it, right? Then those two people are on the same page. Those people feel the same way towards one another, all right? And uh, the Fool, right next to the deck, could be an Aries you're dealing with, but the Fool, I think it's a second, it's that second chance card, right? When I do X spreads during my uh, weeklies and monthlies, I often consider the Fool as the second chance. So, yeah, the advice for you is to give it another shot, basically, Pisces. All right, so, yeah, let's still do the third spread, uh, the new love spread. It could be applicable to the same group of you, Pisces, or the third spread, the new love spread, could be, uh, I could be connecting with another group of you. Because uh, based on what we see here in the advice spread, uh, you, you, the advice for you is to give it a second chance. All right? Cool. Here's the third spread, uh, Pisces, um, and I'm not going to bit around the bush. I think this is a repeat of what we just saw in the advice spread, uh, Pisces. We have uh, the Queen of Cups, uh, the Fool, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. You are obviously the Queen of Cups here. Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. The Fool right next to you. We saw the Fool in the previous spread. This is a different deck. I use different decks for different spreads, right? But the Fool is still here. The Fool is a card of taking a leap of faith. It's a card of second chances, right? The Ace of Cups right next to the deck belongs to you. You are a water sign, right? That's your ace, the ace of cups. And I believe the ace of swords on the bottom of the deck belongs to that king of swords that we saw in the previous spread. Because uh, remember how the king of swords is holding up a sword? That's their sword. Just like you're holding a cup, a cup that's your cup in the ace of cups. Very symbolic and very straight, straight to the point, right? Uh, this one is just easy. Pisces, right? The, the only major iconic card we have on the table is that full card. And uh, the Fool is a card of second chances and uh, things like that. So I think both of you actually want it, since we got both aces on the table. One for you, one for them. I don't know what happened, why the two of you couldn't uh, get the show on the road the first time around, but I guess like, two times is the charm. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to spend, spend any more time on this, Pisces. It's crystal clear, right? You and that King of Swords can definitely... Um, you know, give it another shot and uh, I think you may have something good come out of it. Because we also have the Knight of Cups in the first spread, we have the Ace of Cups here, we have the Two of Cups, the Lovers, it's all here. Alright, so yeah, that's what I have for you, uh, Pisces, for this reading, for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe and uh, other than that, Pisces, have an amazing month.